welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. I get this question a lot, and um, I'm sure there's chefs out there that have a lot of really good answers. I'm just gonna tell you how I care for mine, and that I use, and I try to cook everything I show you on these channels in this set of pans specifically, so that if you only have one tool, a 10 inch or 12 inch skillet, uh, you can make pretty much everything I have ever showed on this or a large cookie sheet in the oven. To be honest, care is just hot water and dish soap. Uh, that's it. I don't put pans in the dishwasher, even though these are dishwasher safe. The dishwasher is super hard on your pans, and even though it's very convenient, if you're using a nonstick pan like this, nothing sticks to this pan. I mean, nothing sticks to this pan. So there's just no reason to ever put it in the dishwasher. It's just hot water and dish soap and a non-abrasive sponge. If you have like those old fashioned yellow sponge with the green um, rough side, that's probably gonna scratch your surface. So I don't use that. I do use the blue ones that have like a, a mild abrasion. Most important thing to know about your non-stick skillet is it's not for life. Okay, it does not last forever. Once this surface becomes, com becomes compromised, there's scratches in it or dents in it, or in some way th the seal has been broken on this surface, not only will it not be non-stick anymore, which is no good for cooking, but also it's not safe anymore because then the chemicals that they use to make this non-stick sealant start to leach into your food. So it's important that you don't use metal utensils or forks or things that can scratch the surface. Now I've shared these pans before. Um, these are by Henkel's. You can tell mine are, this is marks from my gas burner. Um, these are Henkel's and I love them. These are a really thick aluminum. They're lightweight. They have incredible nonstick surface. And this like gradient, like see how it's all like speckled pattern is one of the techniques that they use to make sure that it's hard to scratch the surface. Once you scratch the surface, you basically have to throw the pan away, which is the bummer. Where a cast iron skillet can be handed down for generations and a stainless my water's boiling, hold on. All pans benefit from not being banged around a lot, not being put in the dishwasher, nothing abrasive being used on them. All pans really benefit from that. But the reason I recommend for home chefs a nonstick skillet like this is because it's super user friendly. You don't have to oil, you don't have to bring it to a certain heat, you don't have to do any of that. The only limitations here are you really shouldn't be cooking in this like over high temperatures. Like I think these are rated for maybe 400 degrees. So if you put them in the oven, you wouldn't wanna go over 400 degrees. Um, again, you can't scratch the surface. You can't use metal utensils in here. Even if it tells you it's safe, don't do it because once you scratch the surface, you have to throw the pan out. Um, they are less expensive generally than um, a good quality cast iron or a good quality um, you know, enamel over cast iron or a good quality stainless steel. But part of that is because you're going to have to rebuy them throughout your lifetime. So my first set actually lasted me. I took really good care of it. And it lasted me about 20 years, which is fantastic. Most of these pans only have a lifespan of like three to five years. So, um, but those were like super expensive pans. They don't need to be oil. They don't need to be brought to a certain temperature. They don't need any special care. Hot, soapy water. Uh, and just treat them gently. Treat them with care and don't overheat them. Don't put them on a super high flame. Uh, don't put them in the oven over 400 degrees. Hope that helps. I hope that was informative. If you have questions, always leave them in the comments, of course. And I just love you and appreciate you guys.